All right, champions, you, your forehand's pretty good right now, but for some reason, you're not getting the angle going, the soft hands angle, and it's, it's such an important shot to pull your opponent out of the court. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips, three to four tips, on, and it's, it will help you immediately uh, with your angle, and it will help you to get that angle going. The first thing is, when you're hitting forward or when to the middle of the court or down the line, you don't need so much of a shoulder turn because you're swinging forward, you're swinging forward. What we need to understand when we, want, when we need spin and angle, you also need to turn your body more. So the more angle you want, the more spin you want, the more angular you gotta turn. So you gotta get this turn going instead of just, you know, swinging straight and swinging straight forward. Turn a lot more angular, swing angular. That's gonna help you immediately to get that little rip, boom. If you don't swing around the ball, you're never gonna get the angle. Next up is a lot of players don't understand, they think they're dropping their racket, but they're dropping the arm and the wrist is not breaking a little bit at the bottom. So right before contact point, the butt of your racket needs to face the ball. Right before contact point, this needs to happen. Not this, not that, but this needs to face the ball, then it's easy to brush the ball. So that's step number two. Step number two. Okay, then step number three, guys. I always have to talk about it, but if you, if you grip your racket too hard, if you, if you grip your racket too hard, it's impossible to have soft hands. You're gonna try and hit it. It's just gonna do its own thing, okay? Please relax your wrist. Why do all the pros have relaxed hands when they play? Because it's just how it works. Soft hands with the first two tips, Soft hands, there we go. And the ball wants to dip because you're working with the ball, not against it. Tip number four, champions. Please don't try and hit your angles with a close stance. Close stance is meant for down the line. Down the line. If you want the ball to go cross and angle, you have to go open stance, why? Because now there's space for me to have angular turn, angular momentum and to swing around the ball. So please use your open stance, open stance on that angle. I know for a fact that's gonna help your angle, just those four tips. And um, I'll see you for my next video. Next video will be on maybe how to get the ball down the line, okay? Like, subscribe guys, by subscribing to my channel, your game of tennis becomes better overnight.